Brand out for my mama need a new crib. Amen. And I'm gonna make that shake. Gotta put the food on their plate. Stay focused and get money. Never gave a fuck what they say. Ain't no time to sleep, I get guap. Ain't no Jordans in the shoebox. Ain't no roof to cave with that drop. Chase that paper young and don't stop. Nigga, I was born and raised in that jungle. Trying to get my folk in there, but that struggle. Fuck that nine to five, it don't cut. Ain't no job, I guess my love. So, okay. That's, that's my life. All I do is all first. My first, uh, my first daughter, my first adopted son, my oldest son, Larry. Uh, I'm trying to make uh, something happen in the Virgin Islands. My freshman year, Mexico State. My rookie season at the Baltimore Colts. Mm. Yeah, so it was like all first. The positive role model I'm trying to do for the kids, the self-esteem, build a self-esteem, uh, teach them the, the right way. I think uh, God has blessed me with the talent, not only um, athletic-wise, but he's blessed with the talent to be with the kids and, and teach the kids the right things. Uh, I love working on colorblind, so every kid looks the same to me. So I'm not, you know, I don't have a preference. I'll work anywhere you want me to work, I'm just for a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I, I worked at all the community centers, Borellas, uh, Thomas Bell, Cesar Chavez, all, all gamuts of the city, all, all geographical locations, all cultures. And like I said, I've been doing this for 30 years. And, uh, and, I, and I love what I do still. And you can see some of the programs, uh, the kids are happy to be here. So that, that's what keeps me coming every day. Uh, but I'm on my tail end of my career. I started here in 82. I'm going to finish here in 2015. Mm. So you, you do the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I've been, years, I I've been here. So I've seen a lot of kids growing up, and now they're adults, and they're good, uh, good um, role models for their kids. Um, some of the stuff that I've taught, I've taught them over the years. So to me, it's a blessing. Uh, like you say, these are God's children, and I'm just doing what he's asking me to do. I know, I just, I, I love what you're doing. You're helping young men and uh, young women you, to reach their potential, to reach their goal. And when I see you guys work out, it gives me chills because I know once upon a time in my life, I was, I was on that journey. I was, I was running these hills out here. I was, I was pulling tires up and down. I was, I was running army boots, 20 pound weight jackets, trying to get to that next level. So I know what it is and what you're doing for these young men is, is beautiful. It just, something it like, I see you guys working out and it's, I'm like, man, man, oh man. Mm -hmm. I know what you're trying. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to reach a level that a lot of people ain't going to reach that level in their lifetime. And it's a good level. Yeah. I'm looking at you, like I told him, you're trying to be the best. Because everybody's at a level. But what makes you stand out that's going to make that scout or that coach want to pick you? Mm -hmm. Want to give you a contract? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your character's good. Everything else is good. So now it's about... Who's the best? What do I see that he does different from me? Mm -hmm. You know? So, hey, just keep working hard, guys. It's a right. dream, I tell you, man. That dream. Don't ever give up on your dream. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Appreciate All right. it. Appreciate Thanks, it. We're here with the man Larry. Y'all heard the testimony of him. That's a part of our life testimony, part of the company. Go out in the community, interview people, just to show you guys different aspects, different walks of life. We played all over the place, played the pros. So, you guys enjoyed the clip today. We out, we got the kids coming out. We out. See you baby.